Good morning, you are watching Doordarshan News and this is a news for hearing impaired. I am Nancy Kohli and with me is Shruti Arya. Let's begin with the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said his government is committed to serve farmers, poor, Dalits and the deprived sections of society. Addressing BJP's Parivartan rally in Kushinagar, Uttar Pradesh on Sunday, the Prime Minister urged the youth to train other people on how mobile technology for transparent transactions and to ease out the shortage of currencies. In the rally, the Prime Minister hit out at the opposition parties for their Bharat Band call against demonetization, saying they are organizing the strike at a time when he's trying to root out corruption and black money. The Prime Minister also made a strong case for moving towards a complete cashless society by converting mobile phones into bank accounts. Exhorting youths to become agents of change for a cashless regime, Prime Minister Modi asked people to go the e-way for making financial transactions. He said this would strengthen the economy in a big way. Days after, Prime Minister Narendra Modi sought public opinion on government's demonetization. Over a million people have participated and expressed their opinion. According to the latest numbers, 91% of the respondents supported government's demonetization, saying they do not mind the inconvenience. 92% of the respondents rated the move as very good. The approval ratings in states like Bihar, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Odisha, Karnataka are at 93%, which is above the national average of 85%. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched the survey on 22nd November. Khalistani terrorist Harminder Singh Mintu, who escaped in a massive jailbreak in Punjab yesterday, has been caught near Delhi's border with Haryana. Five other prisoners remain missing. Mintu and the others made their escape when a group of armed men in police uniforms came in four cars and stormed the high-security Naba Central Jail on Sunday morning. One of the men, Palvinder Singh Pinda, was caught last evening. He told the police that Mintu and another prisoner, Kashmir Singh, were not part of the escape plan plotted by Vicky Gundur, a prisoner accused in several cases of murder and highway robbery. In France, former Prime Minister François Fillon won the centre-right presidential primaries on Sunday. Fillon, who went into Sunday's second round runoff as firm favourite, had won over 66% of the vote in a head-to-head -head battle with another former Prime Minister, Alain Jouve. With votes from four-fifths of the over 10,000 polling stations counted, Fillon had won over 67% of the vote in a head-to-head -head battle with Jouve. He now will set up a likely showdown next year with far-right leader Marine Le Pen. All eyes are now turning to the ruling Socialist Party and to whether the deeply unpopular President Francois Hollande will decide to run for the left-wing ticket in his party's primaries in January. And with that, it's a wrap on this edition of the news. Thanks for being with us.